All right, now let's talk about the weather. We have beautiful weather for all of these yeah, events that we so had today. Nice Festivals, there. everyone's outside enjoying it. And it looks like most of them are going to be over with right before the rain starts coming mm. in within the next couple of hours. To put a cap on the weekend, of course, a little rain will wash a few things away. And not minimalizing the. We're not washing away the fun. You say the pollen. Yeah. <laughs> the pollen <laughs> the is what pollen. we want to wash away, right? At Jersey Shore right now. There's Atlantic City looking a little overcast. The good news here is that we are not going to be looking at uh, rain coming in right now for the Jersey Shore. You'll probably be one of the last ones to see that coming through. In the meantime, let's walk over and talk about what we are tracking as we head into your Sunday night, and that's going to be the rain that comes in. Will we retreat? Retreat. Retreat. There we go. Before the morning commute, retweet is what you do on the phone. Now, sunny and warm as we head into your Monday. Believe it or not, the morning commute and the evening commute will be very nice. A few showers for Tuesday. And then the mid to late week is going to bring us sunshine and warm. So after this stuff, it's Tuesday. This little mini system I talked about before the break, that will be coming in as another area of low pressure comes through. In the meantime, the line of rain right now, extending from the Carolinas all the way up to the Canadian border, there's just not a lot here. And some of the air is a little bit on the drier side, right across central PA and over toward the Jersey Shore. So that's going to really limit some of the heavier rain. But the good news here is once this does move in and come through, we're not expecting any severe weather. The risk of severe weather still across the Midwest. In fact, much of Iowa underneath a moderate to high enhanced risk. We're already tracking some severe storms and even tornadoes out there. Today so far, we made it to 76 degrees. The normal or the average around 72. That's where we were yesterday. We're currently at around 72 degrees, down about four degrees, of course, from the last couple of hours. Trenton coming in at 72, 67 in Atlantic City, and back toward areas toward the west, like Lancaster, 71, Reading at 72. So let's go over your future cast. As we head into the next hour or so, we're going to soak up the atmosphere a little bit, and that means some of that rain on the radar will start to reach the ground and fall. We'll continue that all the way through 8, 9 o'clock. There we go. And then overnight, we continue to see a few light showers. The heaviest stuff will be north and east of us. So by the time we wake up in the morning, it is mostly sunny to partly cloudy. And we'll have a good deal of sunshine throughout the day on your Monday. That's your Monday. Tuesday, an area of low pressure moves in from the west. That's going to bring us some rain. Now, Tuesday morning, afternoon, and evening will most likely be on the rainy side. But the good news here for Tuesday is that we're not expecting severe weather. It'll be out of here by Tuesday night. And just in time for the middle of the week, we are looking at beautiful weather, and not just for a day or two, but for a nice little stretch. Tomorrow, Monday, mostly sunny, 77 degrees in Philadelphia, 75 along the Jersey Shore with decreasing clouds. Hey, Lehigh Valley, you're going to make it into the lower 70s with nicer skies. Rain chances this week. After we get through Tuesday, we don't even have another chance of rain until late Saturday night, and most of the weekend is looking really good. Here is that seven day forecast 65 on Tuesday. That's the week's rainmaker, then a beautiful recovery on Wednesday. We're in the 70s, if not 80s, by the time we get to the end of the week and the weekend. Stay with us. More CBS News Philadelphia after this.